I'm Lauren Bradshaw. Cameron Diaz partied it up at Studio 54 in New York last night, and we're taking a look at the hot spots star-studded past in today's Pop Sugar Rush. Studio 54 came back in a big way last night. The iconic club shut its doors years ago, but it was reopened for a special one-time only event for Sirius XM. And Cameron Diaz, Bar Raffaelli, and more stars came out to let loose within its walls. Bar had so much fun hanging with Cameron and Naomi Campbell that she tweeted, I went to Studio 54 last night. I was born 25 years too late. But some of the club's original regulars also took part in the festivities. Kevin Bacon told Entertainment Tonight that he remembered getting down on the dance floor during the venue's heyday. I was just a kid. I'd come here all by myself and uh, dance by myself and have a great time. For more on Studio 54's famous history, here's Trey Sugar editor Annie Scudder. Studio 54 was the club to be seen at in the 1970s. On any given night, you could see celebrities like Michael Jackson, Dolly Parton, or Liza Minnelli. And of course, the scene was known for its sex, drugs, and of course, a little bit of disco. It's a reputation that has lived on in film. Studio 54 is still relevant today in pop culture. There was the movie 54 with Brian Philippe, who was actually at the event last night, and the club also makes an appearance in the movie Watchmen. And of course, it gets a shout out in Sex and the City. You don't seem to grasp the vast difference between us. Oh, yes, I do. You stood in line at Studio 54. I stood in line at Studio 54. The movie. The building that was formerly Studio 54 is now home to New York's Roundabout Theater Company, but the club's legend will always live on.